Now I know we saw ng-serve a little bit in the last lesson. I'd like to take a little bit of time and go over that more. Let's open up our terminal and we have ng-serve, which once we start it, it will create an inline bundle, a main bundle, polyfills, styles, and a vendor bundle. So vendor is usually most of the Angular packages. Main is our packages. Inline is for our Webpack to do all of its bundling. Polyfills are so that a lot of these ES6 features we have are able to be used in older browsers. And styles is there as well. That works for serving our application, but you can notice that it's actually a pretty big file, eight megabytes for our vendor file when we are just in development mode. So let's see how we can build this for production and start using it in production. Well, the Angular CLI lets us do this very quickly. We do ng build for production. Now, when we build our application for production, you'll see that we only have four files. And the way this works is the vendor files are kind of bundled into our main files. So now main is our entire Angular application. And check this out. For production, it's running 236 kilobytes as opposed to that 8.4 megabytes plus the 16.6 .6 kilobytes. So production flag really helps to get this down to production level sizes. And instead of having a style.js file, and that's getting injected into our application for development, we get an actual CSS file that we can load. So very helpful to run ng-build for production. And exactly what does that do for us? Well, it, in our folder structure, creates a dist folder. And this is our application. So now we have an index.html file. And let's open this up. And it's minified right now. But let's see, our head body. OK, so here's the body tag of our HTML. App root is where our entire Angular application will get injected into. And notice the bundle.css is loaded here and our three JavaScript files for inline polyfills and main. And that's the foundation of an Angular app in production. We have our script tag, our custom element, and our CSS file. So really, once we deploy this index.html file, that's how you deploy an Angular application. You just put this index.html file somewhere and route to it from a server. Now a little bit more on this. Let's open up package.json. Don't save that, package.json. You can see scripts here is ng runs ng, ng start, npm runs start, runs ng serve. So all of these npm commands are going to run the Angular CLI commands. And to show this off, let's bring this down a little bit and we'll clear it. So since we have these npm scripts, you can do npm build, running npm start will run ng serve running npm run build will run ng build production and let's see that npm start so you can use either you can use the npm commands if you're comfortable with those or you can use the ng commands if you know those as well and that's kind of the cli's way of building for production using the scripts for development and that's just something i want you to be aware of that the Angular CLI creates a dist folder for us, and all of our files that are needed for production are stuck in there, are dropped in there.